What's up guys, Lifting here with another Arcage Unchained video. Today, I will show you how to upgrade the starter gear set you receive as you first begin your adventure in Arcage and take it all the way into endgame in just a few quick and easy steps. How to upgrade your gear in Arcage Unchained is poorly explained in-game. Fortunately, once you learn how to do it, it is a rather simple process of figuring out which stats you wish to apply to your gear. Before we begin, I just want to mention that in case you still haven't purchased Arcage Unchained but wish to do so, then please consider using my link from the description found below. It will at no cost to you help support ongoing and future content on this channel. So thank you very much. Alright, let's get into it. As you complete some of the early level story missions, you will be awarded with a couple of loot crates that contain either cloth, leather or plate gear alongside a weapon of your choice. This is your starting gear set, also known as the Explorer's gear set. And you will want to hold on to this as this can be upgraded and used all the way into endgame by upgrading it as you go. Now I can't tell you if you should pick cloth, leather or plate as that will depend on the type of build you're playing. But each armor type comes with its up and downsides and it is worth knowing that by committing to just one type of armor your character will receive a bonus relevant to the type of equipment you're wearing. If you aren't completely sure of what type of armor or weapon you should use then just pick whatever makes the most sense to you at the time. You can change this later. First of all to upgrade your gear you will need synthesized materials. These come in different ranks and tiers but they all serve the same end goal which is to increase the rarity of your weapon, armor, improve its stats and prepare it to be awakened later. Once you have obtained some of these materials, you can click the gear upgrade button in your inventory and it will take you to the synthesizer tab. Then right click the item you wish to upgrade to have it placed in the synthesizer. The next step is adding the synthesized materials to the process. By adding one of these rank 1 synthesized materials, you can see that if I were to synthesize now, it would upgrade the basic greatsword to a rare greatsword. However, if we are to add an additional synthesized material, the sword will be able to skip the rare tier and go straight into purple or what's referred to as arcane rarity, further improving the stats of the item. It's also possible to simply click the auto list button to have it suggest the optimal amount rank and type of synthesized materials needed for it to upgrade if you prefer that. To put it simply, the more synthesized materials you add to the process, the more progression and thus higher rarity and stats the item will achieve. The rarity of the item is important as it is only when the item is at max rarity that it can be awakened and until it reaches the highest rarity, you will be able to keep synthesizing the weapon to upgrade it. When synthesizing is no longer possible, you will need to awaken the item to be able to continue the upgrading process. To awaken an item, you will need awakening scrolls. And by simply following your story mission, you will eventually receive these as quest rewards. Once you have one of these scrolls, you once again need to open your inventory and go to the gear upgrade section. But instead of the synthesis tab, instead locate the awakening tab. Now, as mentioned earlier, it's only possible to awaken an item if it has already been synthesized to its max potential. If you aren't able to place the weapon in the awakening tab, that means that it has yet to reach max rarity and you will need to synthesize it further before you can awaken it. So let me try and demonstrate what I mean by using this explorer's chest armor here. First, I begin upgrading it through synthesizing, increasing its stats and rarity. When I can no longer synthesize it any further, it means it has reached max rarity and it is now possible to awaken it. So we go to the awakening tab and place it here and combine it with one of our awakening scrolls. There are two reasons we wish to awaken our gear. The first is that by doing so, the gear has the potential of gaining an extra affix. So that instead of only providing higher armor or damage, it now also provides an additional bonus. The second reason is that once you have awakened the gear, you will be able to further resynthesize it and upgrade it once you have obtained the materials needed to do so. Before you awaken the item the first time, you'll be using rank 1 synthesized materials. And once you have awakened it, you will be using rank 2 synthesized materials. Before you start synthesizing and upgrading your gear further, there's one final thing to be aware of. And that is that in case you don't like the attributes that you got from awakening your gear, then it's possible to try and re-roll this. 
So as you can see, after awakening my chest armor, it rolled intellect. But for this build, I would prefer strength or even stamina. To fix this, I have two options. The first and easiest is to simply add it to the synthesis tab again and check if I have any change attempts available. If you've just awakened your armor, you most likely won't have any. However, if you have enough synthesized materials to upgrade it further, you might be able to receive some. And generally speaking, the more synthesized material you use, the more reroll attempts you tend to receive too. And if you then have any change attempts to use, you can click the replace effect tab. By placing your gear here, you can see how many change attempts you have available. And if you click the magnifier button, you can see which roles you may be able to change it into. If your gear has only been awakened once, it will only show one tier of available affixes to reroll. But as you awaken it a second time or third time, additional affixes become available. And to my knowledge, the gear will only reroll the affixes relevant to the awakening tier. So a tier 1 awakening will only be able to reroll core stats such as strength, agility, intellect, stamina, and spirit. And if you have awakened the gear to tier 2, it will only be able to reroll those stats. So it's important to get the right type of stat on your gear before you proceed to awaken it a second time and third time. If you run out of change attempts, you can purchase an adventurous evenstone from the general vendor to salvage the item. This will give you all of the materials, including synthesize and awakening scrolls back and allow you to start the process over again. But you will have to purchase a new weapon or armor again as that gets destroyed in the process. You can get a new weapon or armor from one of the armor or weapon merchants found throughout the world. And don't worry if you have to do this a couple of times, it's completely normal. And except for a bit of wasted coins and labor, it isn't particularly expensive to do so. It's also completely fine to salvage a weapon even after having awakened it a third time in case you got the wrong stat and wish to craft it all over again. While this process may seem a bit intimidating to begin with, it will soon make complete sense to you. And you can't really do anything wrong by using this method. Just make sure you use the adventurous even stone to salvage the gear and not the regular even stone that can also be purchased from the general vendor as it is only the adventurous version that will return the synthesize and awakening scroll materials. The other one will destroy it. And a quick note to be said here is that you need to make sure you don't accidentally delete your awakening scrolls or synthesize material as you can't necessarily get those back. All right, so that's the process that you have to apply to your starter gear. And if done correctly, it will allow you to upgrade it all the way into the Hiram endgame set. So to recap, you spend rank one synthesized materials on upgrading your gear until it reaches max rarity. Then you awaken it with a rank one awakening scroll and hope to get the right attribute. Once that is done, you start spending your rank two synthesized material on upgrading it further into max rarity. Then once again, you awaken it using a rank two awakening scroll and hope for a good secondary affix stat roll. You then once again upgrade it via the synthesizer, getting it to max rarity and awaken it a third time somewhere around level 50 to finally turn it into Hiram gear. If you at any time rolled the wrong stat and have spent all your change attempts, simply use the adventurous even stone to salvage the item and start over with the materials that have been returned to you. Generally speaking, it is best to make sure to have synthesized all your gear to max rarity before you start awakening any piece of equipment. This way you avoid having to mix the ranks of the synthesized materials and it becomes a little less confusing. When you start doing endgame content, the various dailies will award you with both synthesized materials and awakening scrolls to allow you to continue the process and further hone your weapons and armor pieces. You will also occasionally find Hiram gear drops and the nice thing about these is that they can be used as an alternative to regular synthesized materials in case you're running low on mats. But only for gear that is already of the Hiram tier. You will also be able to temper your gear and socket gems into your equipment for additional bonuses but I generally wouldn't bother with this until late game. The cool thing about these is that gems can also be upgraded, but I will cover that in a separate video as to prevent leaving you with information overload. As final advice, don't forget to apply this process to your bow and instruments too. Even if you don't use these, they will as they get upgraded still be able to provide even better stats. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. If you wish to support ongoing content, then consider becoming a member or Patreon. However, as long as you're watching my videos, I am eternally grateful to you. So please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like in case you found this useful. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd?